at Baker Middle School. We're excited to announce that the community aunties are coming your way to help you reach your hair goals. That's right, on March 14th from 3 to 5 on Bulldog Center, any African American female can learn some tips and tricks for hair. It's empowering to embrace your curls, have healthy hair, and have new ways to style your hair. To sign up, scan this QR code. That's all you have to do? Yes. We hope, we hope to, to see you beautiful, beautiful ladies there. Bye! Bye. Don't gang size, man. Let's go, coach. Pull up, bro. We in Hey, Zeke, we put it out on too, Zeke. Hey, guys, welcome back to Courtside Chat with Maya and Coach K. Hello. So, Mason. Um, ended up winning by a bunch, right? Yeah, the hustle was good. Um, a lot of people were putting shots up. Mm -hmm. I noticed that. Guards played really well. I love when you're all aggressive on the ball mm -hmm. and don't foul. You know, you did a great job of doing both. Yeah. So you move the ball up the court really well, quickly. And how you, sh I don't know how you put a shot up that I think actually hit the bottom of the rim, but somehow spun, you put some spin on it. Yeah, so my hand know. like. <laughs> turned yes. and it did i looked like a ballerina oh it was great <laughs> it was so great though i think you got fouled too yeah just, just yeah. and then i got my free throw and i yeah. made mine i think the official was so mesmerized by the shot that he just forgot to call the foul <laughs> okay Stuart, do we have to talk about it i guess we do yeah my mindset i was just thinking like we can win this game instead of like oh we're losing mm -hmm. or we're gonna lose i was just telling myself we can win this game we can win this game we can win this game and even though we lost by one point, in my mindset, we won that game as a team. I agree. Yeah, and I think just Stewart in general, whenever we play Stewart with any sport, it's always like super high tension and emotion. Uh, we're behind, but battled and battled and battled. Mm -hmm. um, they have a really solid player that we had to dedicate something, some attention to. Um, but we, we kind of got under her skin a little bit, too, and she started making a lot of mistakes toward the end. Oh, wow. So I was proud of the adjustments that you all made. Mm -hmm. What we can improve on most is definitely our passing, mm -hmm. looking up before passing and throwing a strong chest pass or a strong bounce pass, mm -hmm. and communicating. We still yeah. need to improve on communicating. I drive home after every game, one of those, thinking, like, what, could I have, what could I have done, mm -hmm. right? Did I give opportunities to be successful? I mean, I think as a coach, that's what you really try to do is put players in positions to be successful. Mm -hmm. I think that's just a coach's job. We're always trying to improve on that. How do I, what new drills can we implement that will mm -hmm. teach a lesson differently? Or yeah. how can I like empower student or, you know, players to be students of the game mm -hmm. and teach others too? Yeah. And you, you all do a great job of that, by the way. You're always stealing the mic or for me or <laughs> like, you know, I, I, you just do such a good job of that. Yeah. Thing last couple of years especially. Join us for a night of culture celebration. Baker will be having a multi-culture tower night for students to celebrate their heritage. This event will be in the cafeteria on May 29th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. If you want to celebrate your culture, you can either attend or sign up to perform at the event. You can sing, dance, sign a poem, play an instrument, draw an art piece, tell a story, or do anything you can think of to represent your heritage. We'll also have delicious culture foods for everyone to enjoy. We want as many students involved. 
Let's provide re representation to our communities by signing up to perform. If you're interested, you can sign up by scanning the QR code or visiting Ms. Camilla's office. Students who sign up to participate have a chance to win a prize. Let's represent our culture, Baker. Hi, I'm Peyton, and I want to teach you the signs for teacher and student. That way you can say sentences like, you are a teacher, or you are a student. Okay, you guys ready? Student. Student. Teacher. Teacher. Thanks for practicing with me. Bye. Guess what today is? Today is the day of Oreo cookie. The Oreo company has made over hundreds of thousands of different types of Oreos, such as Oreo ice cream, Oreo minis, and even different exotic flavors. What's your favorite type of Oreo? Let's do a quick two trivia question. What percentage of the world eats Oreos? If you said 75%, you are correct. Last question, when was the first Oreo cookie made? If you said the year 1912, you are correct. Have an amazing Oreo day. Hey guys, I'm Justin, and welcome to Your Chef Justin. Today, we got something to cook that almost all of you have heard of. Nachos! But on Chef Justin, we don't like to be predictable, and decided to do two recipes. Number one is the most easiest. First, get some tortilla chips, a plate, and cheese. Microwave it, and there you go. But for those who want high quality nachos, I'll give you my recipe. What you'll need is Velveeta cheese, tortilla chips, milk, ground beef, salt and pepper, and a trusted adult. First, you're going to add the cheese in one half cup milk. You're going to mix until gooey, while also cooking the ground beef. You're going to mash the meat and start cooking it, but not fully. Once halfway cooked, you are going to mix the meat with the cheese. Then add a bit more milk and cook a little longer. After fully cooked, you're going to add salt and pepper. And there you go. That's all from me. Try these and keep it crispy. You're nervous about conferences and don't know how to prepare for them? Well, I have a few tips for you. To start off, conferences are happening later this month on the 21st and the 22nd. A few things you could do to prepare are do all your missing assignments, ask for extra credit work, even try to redo the assignments that you have done poorly. And remember, these things can help you finally show your parents your good grades.